Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing Love and Hip Hop Season 2 Reunion Special. Okay, each girl sat down with um, Mona, the executive producer, except Chrissy. They, they all couldn't get on stage together because all of them together, somebody, at least two of them, going to get in a fight. So each of them sat down with Mona, except Christy. She didn't want to have anything to do with Mona because she felt Mona put her in a situation she didn't want to be in. So since we're talking about Christy, we're going to start with her. She's like, she was felt that she was um, set up in situations that she shouldn't have or didn't want to be in. Like, for, for instance, after her engagement to Jim, the next night, she had told, you know, Mona and the producers and everybody, I don't want to be in the scene with Yandy. Don't let her nowhere near me. Just let that girl do, be doing what she's doing and let me do what I'm doing. But that didn't happen. Night after her engagement, she's out party and who strolls in? Yandy. And she automatically gets mad like, Mona, why you put me in this situation? I told you I did not want to fend with her. And now you got her hair and you know we had this beef. I'm like, I'm liable to get to fight with this girl, so don't be doing that to me. So, and she was saying how that happened on more than one occasion. And she let it be known that her and Yandy, they know each other, but they're not like, hey, girl, let's go to the mall, let's go shopping. And it's like, she's like, we've had like two drinks. Me and Yandy are not friends like that. And, you know, I guess after all what, Yandy putting all their business out there and sending them emails and the way Yandy was acting, knowing how Chrissy felt towards Nancy at the fi Nancy at the fi at the time, this is like no, we can't do that no more. It can never be. And Jim, he was on there talking to Mona, and he's like, he didn't want to do the show in the first place, but Chrissy did, and he was like reluctant and everything. He just didn't want his business to be put out there like that. And she asked, can you and Yandy, Mona asked, can you and Yandy ever be friends again, you know, work together again? He's like, I, I can't do that after you, you know, basically stab me in my back, sort of, you know, putting my business out there. We can't be friends again. And I was thinking, that's good because, you know, Yandy, it's going to be hard for people who want to work with you. And like, dang, is she get mad at me? Is she going to put my business out on the street? So we're going to move over to Emily. Emily, they was asking Emily, did you really break up with Fab? Are you just doing that for TV? She's like, no, I left Fab, you know, for a while. We're back together now, but it's like, he's a totally changed person. It's like, if you cheating, I'm gone. I, I'm not going to do that anymore. And she's like, now, it's like, it used to be when we go out, everybody was like, oh, Fab, oh, Fab. But now it's like, hey, Fab, hey, Emily. So I guess she's like finding herself. It's just like, yeah, we are back together now. But it's on my terms. I'm not going to be that old Emily where you can cheat on me with 50 million girls and I'm not saying anything. We're going to move over to Olivia. Olivia as well was mad that she was portrayed the way it made her feelings for her towards her mom were portrayed. She's like, I had those feelings when I was younger. And now me and my mom, we are, we've come together and we are actually closer but they didn't film that on the show. And Mom was like, well, we wanted you and your mom to get on the phone, but you didn't want to. She's like, well, my mom, she's a very private person, and I knew she wouldn't want to do that. And I asked her, did you, like, sign that deal with that record label want to sign you? She's like, no, I got a different deal. You know, I'm not going to say the name of the deal yet, but I got me a different deal. I was like, okay, glad you did that. Olivia, because I was getting kind of worried about you. Like, ain't nobody gonna want to do it. You was like down to like the last two people who had a record company wanted to work with you. So, pickings are slim. So, okay. Kim Billa's like, her and Jewels are not together, but they're together. And she's with Child, and hopefully they can make it work. And she was like, the way they were hurt, they set up her and Erica's like an ambush. She was like, I like, Erica just attacked, immediately went after her for like no reason. But I guess Erica feel that Kim Bella was stealing all the um, jobs she was getting in and like, hey, I'll do it for less money if you let me be on TV. So then it was like looking at the other girls like, hey, can you do it for cheap too? And that was breaking into Erica's money. That's what I got out of it. So 
Nancy gets on there. She's talking. She's playing her little song. She's saying her um t-shirts are doing fizzy psychotic and the psychotic t-shirts are doing really well you know she got her little song out there and her and um, olivia some some beef on twitter i'm like really really y'all fight on twitter ain't y'all too grown but i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna say that samaya so comes on there it's like they brought they did samaya so just like they get kim shit on basketball wise la Sort of. I don't know if Kim should left on her own. It's like she was on there for a few episodes, then she was gone to the very end. And that's how they did Samaya. Samaya was on there I, like first two, three episodes. Then she was gone. And then she pops up like the last two episodes. Like, I've been here all this time. And she was like, you know, I didn't get no storyline. They just couldn't be out. Like, I wasn't even there. And then she had this big old. It, looked, it reminded me of the line from The Wiz. That's it was like big and curly and poofy like that and it was kind of distracting towards me. I'm not trying to talk about the girls with, but that's what it reminded me of. And if she like it, then hey, who am I to say anything about it? So, and she did call Moan out of her name, and she's like, "Why you gotta call me that?" She's like, "I guess that's Samaya's personality. She just run off. She just talking. Don't care who she talking to. Just talk to them any old kind of way." So. Yandy, she gets on there and she was saying how yeah, me and Jen, we we were so close. We worked together for eight years, and she's like, Mom was like, well, did y'all sleep together? She's like, oh my goodness, it's been if everybody been talking about. First of all, no, we didn't do it. We were friends. We were like brothers and sisters, and that's where it's like not good because like this is person you're doing business with and then you're trying to mix friendship in there and thinking that yeah we can goof around and do that but it's like crossing the line and i think that's where you know kind of her and christy got to like had their little altercation because like you're supposed to be his manager that's it for most it's not supposed to be anything you crossing line and you thinking just because we buddy buddy brothers sisters that I can just say and do anything. No, remember, you got to be professional first. And I believe Mona did tell her that once upon a time. So, apparently they're supposed to be getting some new love and hip-hop girls. And somebody on this season is supposed to be leaving or whatever. But they didn't say so. We're just going to have to find out. So, if I left anything. At, oh, yeah, they did talk about Erica. It's just like, I'm not a violent person at all. It's just that, I guess, when she's provoked, the beast comes out of her. So, if I left anything out, please leave a comment or a video response. And I want to thank my subscribers and the people watching my videos. I want you to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and then on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off.